There is a gap that needs to be bridged. There is a divide that needs to be conquered for the kingdom. And that is the divide between, you know, conservatives and, I guess, I almost want to say atheist conservatives or, you know, libertarians. And not to say all libertarians are atheists. I'm just categorizing it in that way because I think if you look at us, and I know you have friends too, I bet, that we're all in solidarity about opposing these this crazy this crazy Jezebel Babylon spirit this this crazy anti-science 470 gender spirit that's like well you know we gotta do all this stuff and we gotta regulate everybody and increase taxes and regulate the crap out of your business like I think we're all in agreement that government should be less involved, that individual liberty should be promoted, and all this, um, and the, the, you know, resisting the cancel culture. And so, on one side, you've you've uh, you've got the the Candace Owens and the barstool sports kind of guys and the Gina Caranos that are being persecuted for this. But they're missing the the kingdom piece, and I can say, you know, my own some of my own college friends that are diehard conservatives, but they're also diehard atheists, because let, let's let's put it plainly, libertarianism and conservatism are tough to reconcile when it comes to social issues. You know, we we have a a, a rooted um, belief in right and wrong in terms of cer certain social issues and you know libertarians are more lax with that and th those people that are conservatives but reject the kingdom they're skeptical they're skeptical of everything which we all should be like they're skeptical they, they hate the government and they hate religion and they hate institutions like that and I, I totally get that. That's speaking from the heart. Like, I totally get that mindset. But in solidarity, we need to bridge that gap. We need to unite against our common enemy of this wicked, wicked spirit coming against our nation um, that's manifesting this this cancel culture thing we need to unite against that and you know even jesus said when the disciples were asking him well should we rebuke the people that aren't part of our group that are casting out demons and jesus said no no because he's he who's not against us is for us and and i think we have to bridge that gap and by doing so through our actions and through the light that they see in us, we can spread the kingdom to them too. And, and that that missing piece, that missing jigsaw puzzle piece, can be filled. But what do I know? 